Hi, I am Himadri from 2017 batch of computer department. You might be knowing me from the Illumini Connect webinar series or the DSA learning series from last year. Hi guys, uh, I'm Nidhi. I'm from the same batch as Himadri and you might be knowing me from one of my sessions from Illumini Connect series. I manage the social media handles of GEC Bhavnagar on all the social media platforms. We created this YouTube channel for the Illumini Connect webinar series primarily. Um, it was an attempt to connect our Illumini with our students. We also ended up doing an, another webinar series called Let's Connect. Um, there we tried to connect some industry experts and accomplished students from another institutes with our students. Yes, so a lot of things have happened at GC Bhavnagar after the Illumini Connect and Let's Connect webinar series. So first of all, we realized the need for official social media handles of GEC Bhavnagar to efficiently promote and spread updates about such activities happening at the Institute. So I, we, uh, we talked with uh, our principal sir for the permission and he gave us the permission. So then I signed up for all the social media accounts and now we have official social media handles of GEC Bhavnagar on all the platforms, including Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram. So if you haven't already followed, please go and follow for such updates. And the link to all the accounts will be in the description box of this video. And apart from the GEC's official handle, we also have GEC Bhavnagar student community handles. So we have two accounts on each platform of GEC Bhavnagar. Apart from the social media handling, I have been also contributing to making the content and designing the posters for all the sessions that we had in Illumini Connect and Let's Connect series and even for the campaign that we run. Yes. You have been doing a great job, Nidhi. Um, and I know it can be a very challenging job. It can be quite time consuming and energy consuming to manage an entire institute's online presence single-handedly. Um, but recently, our students have formed a student club to help you out. Um, it's the media club of our college, um, and it is being led by uh, Madhav Trivedi, who is a final year student. Um, so from now on, the media club is going to be handling GEC's online presence. Um, and media club is also going to handle this YouTube channel from now on. We know that many of our subscribers are not directly affiliated with GEC Founder, so they might not be aware about the recent work uh, that have been done in the direction of building student communities at the Institute. Um, so today I and Nidhi are here to give you a summary about what kind of work our students have been doing in the past few months. Yes, so let me give you some background first. So after graduating from GC Bhavnagar, I and Himadri happened to go for our master's, uh, master's degree at some different institutes. So those institutes had a very dominant and active student community culture. So we have been trying to find an efficient way to encourage the student culture at GC Bhavnagar as well. But we didn't know where to start or how to start. So we, we have just been thinking about it so far. But I think Himadri also encouraged students to form various clubs during her session in the Illumini Connect series. Yes, um, and after a couple of weeks uh, of that Illumini Connect series, a bunch of students came forward with an idea to start a programming club. I helped them as an Illumini advisor to properly uh, represent and structure their idea and to make it more representable. Um, so they made a very nice presentation and proposal and they presented it in front of the principal sir. Um, and he was very much impressed. Um, and he gave the students the permission to run the club at, uh, at our institute. Um, and that's how Bits to Bytes, um, the first ever student club of GEC Bhavnagar got formed. Um, that was a remarkable achievement for our students. Um, and that was just the beginning of the student community culture at our institute. Yes, so after the first ever club that's Bits to Bytes organized few successful events, we had a discussion with Principal Sir about how can we encourage our students to form more such communities. So we agreed to run a campaign under the leadership of the Principal Sir, Dr. G.P. Vadodariya Sir, 
where Dr. Himanshu Srivastava, a faculty in the general department, joined us as the head faculty coordinator, and I and Himadri served as the alumni facilitators. We wanted uh, to encourage as many and as diverse as uh, possible student communities. Um, and it required a good amount of planning. Um, but with the support from Principal Sir, Himanshu Sir, and our students, and um, their coordination, I, I think we could do it, right, Nidhi? Yes. So we realized that we realized quite early that the idea of student communities is quite new for our students. So they will require some help in getting clarity and writing their proposals. We also realized that it is very important to have a good communication medium where we can constantly be in touch with students and provide the necessary support and guidance where students can also connect with the peers, alumni and faculties efficiently. So the communication part was more crucial in the pandemic time where students can't meet other students on the campus and while they're at their homes in different cities and different states. So that is when we created a Slack workspace for GC Bhavnagar with the channels for every branch, batch and various club ideas. So we hope that the students will continue to use that Slack workspace for staying well connected even after the campaign. If you are a student or a faculty of GC Bhavnagar who has still not joined Slack, please do so. You can get the invitation link from your class representative or your head of the department. So we also invite all the alumni who are interested in helping and mentoring the students to this Slack workspace. So such alumni can write to alumni.connect.gc.bhavnagar at gmail.com for getting the Slack invite link. So getting the communication part covered uh, with this Slack, uh, Slack workspace, um, we also did some general meetings um, and broadcasts to interact with our students in a more of uh, audio visual way. Um, we circulated some forms to understand about our students' interest in this direction of building student communities. Um, and we received very positive and huge response from our students, almost 200 more than 200 actually, uh, students uh, shared their ideas about running such clubs or what kind of clubs they want in the Institute uh, with us via this forms that we have circulated. Um, so as a next step, we provided them with an example proposal um, to help them understand how to write a good proposal. We also provided them uh, with some guidelines to structure their internal um, roles and responsibilities in such a way that the club structure uh, is sustainable over many, many batches. Um, and we also help them uh, by providing an example code of conduct, which is very necessary for uh, regulating any student bodies like this. So uh, apart from that, uh, we also suggested that every club should have a faculty coordinator and an alumni advisor for better support from faculties and alumni community. Um, and we made sure to keep all the head of the departments in our institute well informed about the various activities we were uh, helping our students with to keep all the departments well in check with what our students are up to in the upcoming days. Yes. So we try to provide the students with a clear and a stepwise procedure to propose their ideas for starting a new student club. So we divided the process into three different phases. In phase one, I and Himadri reviewed the proposals and made sure that they followed the guidelines and the structure. We also made sure that the proposal is well written and it conveys the idea clearly and impressively. Then in phase two, we arranged meetings between the core team of the club and the principal sir and the head faculty coordinator for each proposal. So students pr presented their proposals, each approximately 15 pages long, and each club consisting of at least seven to 10 students. It took us three months to write and review those more than 200 pages of proposals from more than 100 students and conduct more than 30 hours of calls and meetings. So everyone, 
the students, the faculty, uh, the alumni have been working so hard during this time. And it gives me so much joy to say that together we finally did it. Yes. Yes, we did it. Together, we have achieved something quite remarkable from having no student communities to having 14 student clubs in no time. I heartily congratulate everyone who has been involved in this campaign. And as I mentioned earlier, this channel is now going to be managed by the media club that is formed during this campaign itself. So stay tuned to this channel uh, to hear from our student leaders and their ideas about various clubs that now exist at GC Bhavnagar. Um, the media club will be sharing content about various activities and events to be organized by these clubs in the future via this channel. Um, but this channel still remains available to share and celebrate the stories of our students and alumni. Yes, so we really enjoyed working on this campaign. So we thank Principal Sir, Himanshu Sir, and all the students for the support and coordination throughout this campaign. We congratulate all the clubs and student leaders for coming forward and making their vision a reality. We still think that GEC can have more student communities. For example, we still don't have clubs for theater, research, uh, robotics, and uh, competitive exams like GATE, and few other as well. So, but whatever clubs we have formed are definitely a good start. And now our students have a clear, well-defined procedure to start any club whenever they want. So in the end, I want to give a shout out to all the clubs that we have so far. So starting with the Bitsu Bites Club, it's a programming club and it's led by Neil Gorasya. Then we have the Dance Club, it's led by Chanki Dhandukya. Then we have the finance club. It's led by Dhruvi Mehta. Then we have the design and modeling software club. The design drafters. It's led by Dharmik Mathasolia. Then we have the media club. It's led by Madhav Trivedi. Then we have the literature club led by Bhavya Pandya. Then we have the startup club led by Mohin Pancha. Then we have the arts and crafts club led by Parita Zala. Then we have the Feminism Club led by Dadhicha Patel. Then we have the Adventure and Environmental Club, which is Green Panthers Club led by Yash Basadia. Then we have the Mental Health Development Club led by Vaidehi Makwana. Then we have the Music Club led by Rajesh Srimankar. Then we have the Sustainability Club led by Kalindi Adesara. And then we have the Sports Club led by Shakti Singh Rao. So, so far we have 14 successful approved clubs in GC Bhavnagar. So all the best to all of these clubs. Um, and we hope our students will be forming some more communities with some more innovative ideas in the future. Um, we are very excited to see you all thriving and organizing events that add value to our students' growth and development. We are also excited to see our students, uh, our student leaders who are right now part of uh, this newly established clubs and who are going to be become the pioneer of this uh, student community culture at our institute um, in their journey of growth and development along with the club as well. So best wishes. It was really nice uh, experience to working with our students. Uh, again, a huge thank you to our faculty members who have been constantly supporting our students as faculty coordinators, our alumni who are supporting our students as alumni advisors for various clubs. Um, and of course, our principal, sir, uh, his vision, uh, without his vision and his enthusiasm, we couldn't have run this campaign. Um, and Dr. Himanshu Srivastava, uh, who has been constantly supporting students and us, um, as a head faculty coordinator. Um, and thank you, Nidhi. Uh, you have also been quite hard at work. Um, I guess uh, you and I have been putting almost all of our non-working hours for this work. Um, but finally, uh, we, we have done it. We are at the end. And now our students are going to take the leadership uh, for our institute and I just can't wait to hear about the events. 
Yes. So all the best, everyone. Yeah. So apart from everyone that Himadri thanked, I would like to thank Himadri as well. And all the best to everyone. And yeah, so all the best for your first event. So yes, that's it. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.